way behind the yellow safety line until the cast member on board lets you know it is safe to enter. That cast member's name is Jim. Everybody say hi, Jim. Welcome aboard. We're heading into the back lot of the Hollywood studio. 
Right. In this production area was built in 1988 for Florida counterpart of Walt Disney Studios in Burbank, California. We included sound stages, recording studios, high-tech editing rooms, all the tools needed to create movies, TV shows, and radio broadcasts. We've even got our very own water tower, too. It's up ahead on the left side of our shuttle. We call it the Earful Tower. It's inspired by the water tower Walt Disney had built for his Burbank studio in 1939. Our Florida tower stands a lucky 13 stories high, and we added our own creative touch, a giant set of Mickey Mouse ears. If you wanted to wear those ears, you'd have to have a hat size of 342 and 3 eighths. Up ahead, after the next bend in the road, you'll have a perfect opportunity to take a picture of this famous icon. In the world of entertainment, every project starts with a screenplay and a lot of creative ideas. A production studio is where the ideas of writers, producers, and directors are transformed into an on-screen reality. Within these huge spaces, filmmakers can literally create their own worlds. Our Florida sound stages are soundproof, weatherproof, and most importantly, air-conditioned. All vitally important for the cast, crew, and equipment. Many of the crafts needed for filmmaking are located right here on the lot. On the left, we have our own greens department. It grows flowers, trees, shrubs, and topiaries. A few well-placed plants can cover up empty spots on the set and add a touch of natural beauty to a scene. On the right are two of the aircraft from the 2001 blockbuster hit Pearl Harbor. These exact full-scale replicas of P-40 fighters were used in the special effect fight sequences. Of course, many of the planes you saw flying through the aerial battles or sitting on the ground weren't real at all. They were created entirely within a computer. Oh, keep your cameras focused to the right. We're coming up on that perfect angle of the Earful Tower I told you about. It's a true masterpiece. We're entering one of our most glamorous and colorful departments, creative costuming. Every star has to have just the right wardrobe, and it all begins here with a designer's sketch. Our team of designers, seamstresses, and tailors can turn one and a half million yards of fabric into over 25,000 costumes every year. Many of these costumes will become part of the shows and attractions of the Walt Disney World Resort. In fact, here in Florida, we have the largest working wardrobe department in the world. Why Mickey Mouse alone has over 175 different outfits to choose from, while Minnie Mouse keeps more than 200 unique costumes in her wardrobe. Of course she does. On the left are costumes worn by the stars in recent studio productions. You'll probably recognize some of those costumes from the big screen. Every story needs a setting, and our design staff can create just about any place a script calls for, from an urban city street to a remote desert canyon. On the left is our scenic shop where large-scale sets and props are built. Our team of set designers, carpenters, artists, and engineers has created caves and caverns, game show sets, even replicas of the U.S. Supreme Court and NASA's Mission Control, all on our sound stages. The shop also provides sets and props for our shows and parades here at Walt Disney World. The same skill and craftsmanship that goes into a movie set can also be used to create magic for our parks. Either way, it's all about making dreams come true. Now we're entering a zone we call the Boneyard. It's an outdoor storage area for oversized props and vehicles. Cars, trucks, boats, planes, we often save these props in case we need them for future production. In this backlog collection, you may find real working non-working mock-ups, and even large-scale miniatures using special effects shots. Large-scale mock-ups create a more convincing illusion. catch a glimpse of the Mediterranean fishing village that sets the stage for this thrilling attraction. We'll get a closer look at it soon, but for now, we're approaching one of the largest standing sets on our back It's over It may not look like much from this angle, but it's pretty spectacular on the other side.
This is great, folks. The production crew has just given us clearance to enter the set. Hello, Mac Live Tour. I'm Amy, a production coordinator here at the studios. I can see your shuttle heading toward our canyon set. I've given your driver permission to come in and take a look around. I'm up here with our effects crew, and we're getting ready to shoot a test sequence. Oh, on the way in, you're going to be crossing a wooden bridge, and things may get a little bumpy. So please, hold on to your belongings, especially hats, cameras, and glasses, and keep an eye on any small children in your party. And of course, please remain seated at all times. Welcome to the set. As you can see, we brought the bare, dry deserts of Southern California to green, typically humid. Studios animated feature, Planes, Fire, and Rescue. Looks like the historic aircraft on the right is getting into the spirit of our new film. It would fit right in with Dusty Crophopper, Dipper, and all their high-flying friends from Piston Peak National Park. You know, that plane was known at airports across the country as November 234 Mickey Mouse, or the Mouse for short. Back in the early 1960s, Walt Disney himself used this plane to scout locations for what he referred to as the Florida Project. His team purchased many acres of land here in Central Florida, but they kept the Disney connection a well-guarded secret. Eventually, the secret was out, and the Walt Disney World Resort became a reality. 
Enjoy the rest of your tour, and I hope you enjoy Planes, Fire, and Rescue. On our right, we once again sweep past the magnificent Mediterranean village of our lights, motors, action, extreme stunt show. This high octane is based on the hit show from the Walt Disney Studios Park in France. In this action-packed production, you'll feel like you're right there on the set during the filming of a spy thriller, complete with custom-built cars, motorcycles, even jet skis. You'll experience the split-second timing, coordinated driving, and fiery special effects that make action movies a real blast. The staging area to our right is known as Acceleration Alley. Here, the custom-built stunt show vehicles rev their engines up to 70 miles an hour before making their high-speed entrances onto the stage for our lights, motors, action extreme stunt show. Of course, these are professional stunt drivers. We hope you'll enjoy their daring driving skills, but please, don't try them yourself. Right, Judy. I know. On the left, we've reached our second boneyard with more historic props and vehicles. They're often refitted with custom parts and given a whole new color scheme. You might not even recognize them the next time you see them on screen. For instance, coming up is our friend Furby the Love Bug. He went through a special demolition derby mail. Those dents and dings were added on purpose, but he can be polished up as good as new for his next starring role. Right, we now have a very different view of the building. There is no inside the building. They are just false fronts. Oh, this is the building. It's an old movie trick dating all the way back to the silent era. To add to the sense of realism and avoid the cost of set building, many of today's television shows and movies film on location in cities and towns across the U.S. But out of the real world, you've got to contend with noise, traffic, crowds, and various visual elements that may or may not belong in your film. Here on the back lot, we can avoid these problems because we created our very own flexible urban environment. Our Streets of America facades can stand in for a small town or a giant metropolis. As we come around the last corner on our route, you'll see the skyline of New York City in the distance. It's really a series of painted flats, expertly designed to fool the eye and the camera. We can dress and decorate these streets to look like any city we want, from Chicago to San Francisco. Depending on the choice of vehicles, props, and costumes, we can even turn back the clock and set our story in a different time. And what's more, these sets are built with Florida weather in mind. They're made to withstand 100 mile an hour wind. You're welcome to visit our streets of America anytime during your visit today and get an up-close look at the skills of our set designers and builders. I hope you enjoyed the studio backlot tour today. Please remain seated while the shuttle comes into the station. It will be coming to a full and complete stop. Before those doors on your right hand side open up, please remain seated while they open all the way to the top. The Lights Motors Action Extreme Stunt Show, you got to see them reversing out there. Yes, there will be two shows today. First one's at 120, second at 430. We recommend you get there 30 minutes at a time for the best seats. All right, as, uh, as the shuttle comes in, your exit and one and only exit from this shuttle will be right straight back towards the end of the shuttle. <laughs> as the doors open up, you're going to step out there across that yellow line and make a right turn. There's our stop. Here come the doors. Now, if you go straight down that pathway, it'll take you to the streets of America where you can go to the frozen sing-along or you make a left-hand turn down the way there. That'll take you right over to Mike and Sully from Monsters Inc. Watch your head, watch your step, enjoy the rest of your day here at Disney's Hollywood Studios.